So before we begin today's video, I gotta do one of those addendum things that I have to do. Apparently in the last video, I mistook the abbreviation RPF for Roleplay Fiction. As it turns out by 50 some odd comments, I was wrong. It's real person fiction. To which I say, Andy, hand me the microphone. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> it's still pretty weird! What are you doing? Why do you want to do this with your mutuals? They're people you know! Just stop it! See the grass? Go touch it! Okay, moving on. As I pondered a pronoun change, I began to think of gender less as a scale and more as a landscape. Some people are born in the mountains while others are born by the sea. Some people are happy to live in a place they were born, while others must make a journey to reach the climate in which they can flourish and grow. Between the oceans and the mountains is a wild forest. That is where I want to make my home. My Uncle Bobby, genderqueer. That was beautiful. You know, you should be able to leave kudos on scientific studies. I liked your paper, dude, keep at it. Oh, oh I'm sorry, doctor dude. My brother tried to pick up a banana to make it look like he was talking on the phone, but all the bananas in the bunch came with it, and he just looked at me and went, Guess it's a conference call. Mmm, A++ recovery. Don't encourage him. <sighs> Girls go games, dress up games to a picker obsession pipeline. Hey. How dare. Turns out 2020 was tw- <laughs> Jesus Christ, my brain. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's replay that one. Turns out 2000 was 20 years ago, which is odd because 1980 was also. The thing Gen Z really needs to understand is that no one older than them is ever going to be able to estimate time correctly because the millennium. The millennium will always be not that long ago. Everything since the millennium will always be, in some sense, new. It broke us, okay? It was too big and we'll never quite be able to deal. Was the real Millennium bug inside us all along? Yes, and it created a generational 404. Writing prompt. There's a serial killer in your town. Unfortunately for them, you're a necromancer, and you have fun driving that maniac insane. Oh my god. Oh my god, I need this as a movie. I need this as a movie. If I have to write this movie, I'll do it. Andy, get Amy! We're writing this movie! Too many people prayed for the world to not end in 2012, and God panicked and start pulling out rough drafts. Bonus years, side quests, horror stories. He dug up his flop era and started posting it for all to see. You fangirled too hard and now Earth is running 10 seasons past a perfectly written ending, using unlikable background characters and resurrecting terrible plot lines. Congratulations! God! This absolutely isn't gonna happen, but imagine the Mario movie comes out and it turns out he can do a spot on perfect Mario impression. And everyone on Tumblr gets so fucking mad. That would be pretty funny. Apollo is writing his dodgeball. I hope you're ready for what you've unleashed. You know, gay people will go out in public looking like fucking Willy Wonka and be too scared to ask the waiter for a refill. Look, man, I don't like when waiters have to do the job that I used to do, okay? Okay. Hey, you wanna do math problems together? Why, do you, do you need help with something? Yes, I'm fucking failing. How the fuck does trigonometry work? Okay, my friend just pointed out to me that where Dr. Facilier's shadow is, the wallpaper changes into crossbones. Hold up, what the... Andy, zoom in. Zoom in more. Zoom in more. Put up a skeleton. Oh, shit! 